that one? What is its name? The dominant species on the planet calls it Earth. It will. Planet Earth is in the midst of a geological crisis. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and tidal waves threaten life on the planet. Food sources in the oceans are disappearing, and worldwide, countries are on the verge of economic collapse as the financial weight of the crisis increases. Governments taxed with damage control and a growing refugee problem have put out a global plea for help. One group responding to that plea is the Redmond Institute, an environmental research group and self-appointed stewards of the planet. And you are their next in command. Kuril Islands, your roof reports ongoing tremors and seismic activity disrupting communications. Reports to magnitude of damage incomplete. Northern Marianas, USAF reports massive submarine tremors around the Hakuzen Seamont. Also, an active volcanic vent has opened on island of Tinian, north of their base on Guam. Thank you for your quick response. As you know, the Redmond Institute has been studying the widespread disasters that have plagued the Earth over the last few months. Our analysis is that these phenomena are not natural, nor are they the result of man's continued destruction of the ecosystem. There seems to be a force from beyond Earth willfully manipulating her fundamental natural systems. The Institute has dispatched Alpha Team, consisting of Harwood, Lopez, and Goldfarb, to discover and neutralize that force. Alpha Team has vanished. I'm asking you to select and take command of Beta Team to take over the mission of Alpha Team. You may choose not to take this mission, in which case there will be no record of this communication. You and the members of Beta Team must understand that your lives will be at risk. We believe that Alpha Team made significant progress, but you must choose your team carefully. We have reason to believe that there are enemies within. Before you choose to accept or reject this mission, you must consult the secret files. But before accessing the secret files, you still must confirm your power rating. Thank you for your quick response. As you know, the Redmond Institute has been studying the widespread disasters that have plagued the Earth over the last few months. 
our analysis is that these phenomena are not natural. Security confirmation. Please confirm your identity by entering your personal access code. This code can be up to eight characters long and can be any combination of letters and numbers. Power confirmation. The computer will automatically generate power ratings for you. The ratings are from one, lowest, to ten, highest. If you like the ratings generated, click the Accept Ratings button. If not, Skill Points. Based on your power ratings, you have earned the skill points shown here. You may distribute points as you wish in the appropriate categories. You may have no less than one point and no more than ten points for any skill. You have 12 blue skill points. You have 14. You have 6 yellow. You have you have 12 red skill points. Sorry, but Dr. Humphreys is very busy right now and he doesn't have time to see you. You'll have to try again later. I am Fifth, the android assigned to Beta Team. As a cyborg, I am programmed with Total Recall. I can pilot any craft and offer instant scientific analysis. My strength is good, but I have no spirit. Hi, I'm Lou Goldfarb, originally an astrophysicist from Caltech. I am now Hi, David Harwood here. As the youngest team leader now Hi, my name is Zachary Knox. I received my PhD in computer science from MIT. I soon found myself designing the failsafe computer system. I'm Maria Lopez, a Harvard graduate. Restricted access. Level 2 security clearance required. Please enter your personal access code for access authorization. Clearance approved. Vidley. Vidley. Haven't seen or heard from David in two days. He's usually very good about checking in. Lou and I are afraid we may have lost our leader. 
Lou's lead in Tokyo proved to be fruitless. He now believes that it was a deliberate false lead and is trying to arrange another meeting with his contact. My search of Dr. Tanaka's lab turned up nothing and someone moved all the files from his office. It's beginning to look like Dr. Tanaka knew something he shouldn't have and someone doesn't want us to find him. Did lately. So this was a big quake in the ocean south. Did lately. Sorry I haven't contacted you in a while. I haven't seen the team either, not until yesterday. We got separated when the second quake hit out here, but we're just one big happy family now. Maria somehow managed to find some of Dr. Tanaka's belongings in the rubble. That's kept us kind of busy, but we can get off this rock now that things have stabilized. We're headed back to California to check in with some research center that worked with Dr. Tanaka last year. I sure hope the ground isn't still moving in California. <laughs> Between earthquakes and volcanoes, I've sure had my share of shake and bake. Catch you on the Western Hemisphere. Harwood here. After researching the Lotus Pond Holding Company, I must report I can find nothing suspicious about them. You must choose your team. Time is of the essence. But remember, there are enemies within. Signify acceptance of this mission by clicking Delta Uno. Grab the stable area to safely exit the vortex. Restricted access. 
Interference approved. You must choose your team. Time is of the essence. But remember, there are enemies within. Signify acceptance of this mission by clicking Delta Uno. Grab the stable area to safely exit the vortex. Grab the stable area to safely exit the vortex. Excellent. The world will breathe easier with your acceptance of this task. I've assigned Fitz as your team end, but please hurry. Good. You're on board. First task admirably done. I approve of your choice of crew. But now, my friend, we have work to do. You read the secret files and agreed to search for Alpha Team. And if they are dead, which I fear they are, to carry out their work. Oh, it's you. I've, I've got some new gear for you. You're going to love this. Uh, it's here somewhere. Uh, let, 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 let me find it. But uh, while I'm doing that, why don't you look at this new weapon system that I've just designed for Mason's sonic transporter? There you go. Hey, don't do that!
Warning, fire hazard, containment seal in effect. You idiot. I can't come out right now because we're having problems with the containment seal. My assistant, as many times before, misprogrammed it. But don't worry about that. Now look at the old ray gun and the old compact. I had miniaturized it and put them both into one handy dandy unit. There it is. I'll put it in the isolation box. You take it out to the firing range. Test it. Good luck. You're certainly going to need it. Welcome to the Redmond Institute target range. To choose targets, press the green button. Remember in Alpha Team's report that there were two major areas of concern. Choose one and then begin. I've made my sonic transporter, the Resolute, available to you. It is capable of taking you anywhere you need to go very quickly. You can always contact me through your Raycom, but I can't always help. Review the crisis and begin. Carpe Diem. As pilot of this craft, I've done a pre-flight prep of the Resolute. We are ready to go. Did you know that the world's continents are always shifting and moving? I heard Monterey, California, and the San Andreas Fault really concerned Harvard. Let's start there. There are two types of Earth's crust, oceanic crust and continental crust. The ring of fire, a traceable boundary between the Pacific plate and several continental plates, was of particular interest to Mr. Harwood. Hey, Fisk, what do crust and rust have in common? <laughs> like you, they're both a little flaky. But back on track, Fisk. You gotta help us. Where should we go? Japan or Monterey? Flight coordinates to Monterey, California are programmed and confirmed, Commander. Uh, uh. 
That was interesting, Commander. Commander, the ship that's been following us, it just locked on us. It's gonna attack us. Commander, I can't evade it. You're gonna have to shoot it down. shooting. Interesting engagement, Commander. But do environmental troubleshooters usually run into this much trouble? Whew, Commander, that was too close. Who would want to destroy us? We are approaching Monterey, Commander. Did you know that in the ocean just off Monterey lies the Monterey Trench, which has the deepest ocean trough along the North American continental plate? That was some plane ride. But with all this trouble, I fear the worst for Alpha Team. Commander, in most mystery movies, the good guys usually find their informants in a bar. Why don't we start there? This is strange, Commander. Why would Alpha Team come here? The Pacific Oceanic Plate is moving northwest. One can follow this movement through the millennium by tracing the Empress Underwater Ridge that used to end at the state of Hawaii. flight record of the Resolute's data link right now. We'll try to track down that craft and see if any similar instances have occurred. We're especially interested in discovering if this craft matches the description of the craft associated with Lopez's disappearance in her flight from Tokyo. I'll let you know if we discover anything relevant. Mason out. Commander, did you know the oceanic ridge, which defines the edge of many tectonic plates, is not far from here, and it runs continuously around the planet for 40,000 miles? I know Alpha Team used a sub, Commander, but where did they go in it? I have some sad news to report to you. Lou Goldfarb is dead. His body was discovered outside San Jose some days ago, but positive identification wasn't made until this morning. The San Jose coroner's department has yet to identify a cause of death. In this light, I wish to emphasize to you and to the team, proceed with caution. Mason out. Big place. They should be able to help us. Each earthquake offers so much information into the structure of this planet. And all this volcanic activity is like thousands of years of geological time. Enough geology already, Fisk. What we have to do is we have to find Alpha Team. What do you want? No, I've never seen these people. What do you think we are, some missing persons bureau? Have you checked the local authorities? Yes, I think we can get you in sometime next month say, the 31st of April.
Let me see if the doctor's available. Yes, is Dr. Goodwell available? Thank you. I'm sorry. Dr. Goodwell's in a meeting all day. Look, there's no one available to see you. Don't bother coming back. I have some interesting news for you. It seems that Humphreys has been playing connect the dots with the data that was sent by Oren Snyder. It appears that there are strange energy patterns emitting from the area around the Burden Hall Weather Research Station. If you choose to go there, proceed with extreme caution. Mason out. The Pacific Oceanic Plate is moving northwest. One can follow this movement through the millennium by tracing the Empress Underwater Ridge that used to end at the state of Hawaii. I have heard that certain puzzles require a certain amount of intuition to solve them. This must be one of them. You people, move on. Maybe you should try, Commander. You people, move on. You people, move on.
Hi. This device Humphrey has developed is quite an interesting bit of technology. We're working on a countermeasure. The Hawaiian Islands are no problem, but the West Coast is going to take a bit longer than anticipated. The big event on the 12th will have to be rescheduled for later. Snyder and his beloved geodetector are becoming a real hassle. See if you can get the box for a couple of days so we can fix it. Hi. This device Humphrey has developed is quite an interesting bit of technology. We're working on a countermeasure. The Hawaiian Islands are no problem, but the West Coast is going to take a bit longer than anticipated. The big event on the 12th will have to be rescheduled for later. Snyder and his beloved... just received a copy of the coroner's report. It reads more like science fiction than it does forensic medicine. The report says that Goldfarb's brain was devoid of all neurochemical transmitters. To quote from the report, it seems as if his brain was sucked dry. Now we're checking with the health net and with the police to see if any other similar deaths of this nature have been reported. Once again, be careful. Mason out. In this waterfront dive, Commander, we might be too clean cut for anyone to want to talk to us.